So you guys, I have been really frustrated over some of the articles that I've been seeing over the past few days and I wanted to just like address it. So everybody I'm sure has heard about the gorilla and the boy in Cincinnati in the zoo. It's really heartbreaking. Obviously um, an endangered animal dying is never something you know that anybody should feel okay with. But as well, it's heartbreaking what the mom is going through with all the backlash she's getting. For me, I just wanted to express a bit of a defense for her and a bit of understanding and compassion for this mom. I want to share with you guys why. So if you know us or if you've seen our vlogs, you'll know that we have four kids, including a four-year-old. We do absolutely create boundaries. If you ask anybody that knows us, they would probably be able to tell you that I am a bit of a helicopter mom, but I will also be the first myself to admit, yeah, I get distracted. Hello, we have four kids, including a five-month-old. So if you do watch our vlog, you may have seen that we recently went to the zoo ourselves. This story has actually made me remember, and I don't know how much of it is in our vlog, but while we were there, we were going to see the grizzly bear. So with the grizzly bear, there's like a glass wall you can look out over and below there's water. The water's bright green. I'm not sure why, but whatever reason, my kids were obsessed. They were like, I want to play in that water. Just like this boy was saying to his mom. I get that. The kids were interested in it. They were interested in the water. They didn't even realize, you know, there's a giant animal in there that it would be dangerous to do that. It just doesn't even cross their mind at four or three years old. So while they're looking at that and we're hanging out and we're having fun, you know, we're vlogging a little. That's what we do. Um, I actually went into the bag to get a snack for Jude and so I'm realizing in that 30 seconds it took me to get a snack for my child that was in the stroller, if my four-year-old wanted to badly enough and there was a way for her to get into there, she definitely could have. If she was determined enough, within split seconds I could have given the snack to Jude, looked up, and she could be gone. If you go back and read the eyewitness account from the mom who was standing very, very close, she says there were bushes there. So the mom who was taking a photo, which please don't even try to say that you've never taken a photo at the zoo because we all have. The mom's taking a picture. Her son's hand is in her back pocket. And then within a split second, he's gone. She realizes, hey, where did he go? She's looking around for him. Okay, he's in the bushes. So he's already out of sight. She's looking frantically for him. So the eyewitness then says this mom was near about to break down. There were a few people that were going to go after the boy, but they said he was crawling so fast nobody could get to him in time and it, there was a ledge. They were like, I can't believe he went over. They thought he was going to stop and then they'd be able to get to him, but no, he just kept going. He didn't climb in, jump in, like he crawled to the edge and then fell in. So at this point, they're frantic. The mom's frantic. What I'm saying is it was an accident. Other people were there. Other people saw. Other people, including the mom, tried. They were going to go after the boy, but he was too fat. It's not negligent. What it is, is a moment of distraction. It's a quick kid who's determined and who's going to find a way and take an opportunity. It's the blink of an eye. He's out of sight and in the process of looking for him, he gets himself into a dangerous situation. Anybody who is trying to pin this mom down and say that her children should be taken from her, do you have kids? Do you remember what it's like when your children are three or four and they run away from you in a parking lot or a store or anywhere? This happened to be the zoo and it happened to be a zoo where there was a way into the enclosure. So for me to read these things, my heart is breaking for this mom who I'm sure loves her kids very much. I, for one, Again, if you watch our vlogs, or please go watch our vlogs and then tell me you think that that me admitting that this could have easily happened to us means maybe my kids should be taken away or maybe I'm negligent. And to everybody who's talking about the gorilla should have been tranquilized, at least understand the people that work closely with this gorilla, the experts that know his body language and know, know this gorilla since he was a baby were saying the boy's life was in danger they would not make a decision that they didn't feel was necessary, especially in regards to taking his life. Again, if you read the article, and I'm gonna link it below, but if you read the article of the eyewitness, they stopped filming because it was too much. The gorilla brought the boy up around the enclosure at the top and was shaking him like a rag doll. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. There was a way into the enclosure, which even though it hasn't happened in 38 years there, it has happened two other times on YouTube where a three-year-old once and a five-year-old once have fallen into a gorilla enclosure. That should be enough for all zoos to make sure there's absolutely zero way for a kid to get in there because it has happened before. Um, my heart breaks for the animal. Like, I'm a vegetarian, I don't even eat meat because I don't like to kill animals. It's not about that. It's not about not caring about the gorilla. It's about understanding that the child's life is more valuable. It's about understanding that it was an accident and it's about having compassion for a mom who was about to jump in after him and had to be stopped, who was looking away for one second, not ever expecting that her kid would climb into the cage. Again, I would never expect my kids to do that, but when I hear that somebody else's did, I'm like, hmm, yeah, I can see that. I'm, I can be honest, I can admit that. Does that mean I'm negligent? Does that mean I'm a bad mom? I'd like to think not, 
I'd like for you to watch our vlogs and see our life and think not. And if this poor child hasn't been through enough to have his mom being threatened or, you know, people threatening to take him away from his home, I mean, really step back and think about what you're saying and think about the fact that you were not there. You haven't heard all the accounts. I urge you to check out this actual firsthand account. There's more to the story than what you're making your judgments on. I'm really, really sick of hearing everybody bashing her. Let's just take a breath, have a little compassion for a fellow mom and know we're not all perfect and we can't all be watching our kids every single second kids get into trouble in the blink of an eye.